Hello everyone, it's Cape Girl here, here today to do a fun little video. So in today's video, I'm going to be discussing how I bonded my rats. So yeah guys, the rats are officially bonded. They have been bonded since this Monday, which this past Monday was October 12th, 2020. So yeah, they have been bonded for a few days now, and the reason why I'm making this is to just get it done. Because <laughs> I have time. Um, now of course, who knows? they could end up fighting each other. I don't know, rats can be finicky, all animals can be finicky with their bonds, but I thought I would just discuss the process because it was a mess, I'll be honest, it was a struggle. But first, before we get into it, I just wanna apologize for not uploading. Again, busy with work and school and pets, it's just life. Right now, one of my cats is playing on the floor, so I do apologize if you hear her. Her name is Bud, she is special to say the least. So now, getting into it, I just wanted to put out a few disclaimers. One, this is not a tutorial. This is not a tutorial. Do not follow this as a tutorial. Make sure you go and watch um, Shadow the Rat, Emtology, uh, The Rat Guru, I think is her name. I wanna say it's Rat Guru. Those are all very helpful. Even join some rat Facebook groups. They have some good files that like discuss what you need for rats, which is really nice. Be careful, Facebook groups can be quite toxic at times, but they're good for just learning general information and getting set up ideas. But this is not a tutorial. I did not do, okay, I did some things right, but it was still kind of a mess. This was my first time bonding rats. I am new to it. Um, I had mice. Uh, a couple years ago now, back whenever I was in seventh grade, I'm a senior now, I'm gonna be 18 in about a week. So, it's been a while, and I've had to bond mice a couple times, female mice, and it was difficult, to say the least. Mice and rats, I think, are some of the most complicated animals to bond. I don't know why, I think it's just because of their territories and their squeakiness and everything. I don't know why. Ra like rabbits and guinea pigs are so easy for me and I'm so like good with them but then with the rats and like mice I get so nervous about bonding them but yeah I'm gonna be honest with you there some things did happen that were not expected I want to make that one very clear uh, something happened that would normally not to happen to someone um, while they're bonding so all I ask for you guys is if you see that I did something wrong, which I know I did, and I'm gonna try to point that out, uh, just be kind about it, you know? I'm not in the mood to deal with bullshit. So thank you. Um, now, let's jump right into it. The boys do have names now. So we have Templeton, who you guys know. And now let's go meet the new boy. Alrighty then, drum roll please. This is Mr. Emil or Emmy or Emlington. So that's that cutie. Then we have Templeton. Of course, you guys know his name. He's super cute. That's my Templeton. He's a little butthead. And then this, this is Remy. So this is Remy Remington. He is my Dumbo boy who is quite shy and timid. So I do apologize if I don't have many good clips of him. He can be rather uh, flighty and uh, skittish. But there's Emil again and Templeton. So those are my rats. Alrighty then, so let's get right into how I worked on bonding them. It was quite an experience. So I watched a whole bunch of videos and I asked a couple Facebook groups. Actually, I asked, I asked one Facebook group. One Facebook group. Uh, just to get an idea as to how I should go about this. Because Templeton is an older rat, I was concerned with him being aggressive um, or vicious towards other rats. Uh, that was something I was warned about, is that sometimes rats who have been separated from other ones can become aggressive and uh, will not accept other rats. So that was something I was very concerned about. And then on top of that, the other boys, Remy and Emil, are a little bit older, so I was also kind of just like, how are we gonna do this? So I waited two weeks. I decided to go uh, with the bathtub method, so <laughs> I set up my bathtub with a towel on the bottom and I put a whole bunch of treats and toys, or not toys, food in it, no toys, nothing like that. I just put it all in there and then I went and I got the boys and I put them all in there at once. So I tried to put them all in there at once so nobody's smell was in there longer. I know that that might not affect things but I was kind of concerned about that. So I put them all in and I was like, okay, I got this. I had my extra towel to throw on whenever they started squabbling. I had my, uh, 
separators, so like my dustpan, and I would separate them if I needed to, and I had extra food. I was like, yes, we are gonna do this. And I decided that I'd do like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, 60 minutes. That was what I planned on doing initially. Uh, so yeah, that was the initial plan. And so I had them all in there, and it was going okay. There was a lot of little squabbles. Uh, the two new boys, Remy and Emil, were clearly stressed out. Their uh, hair was standing on edge, so you know, that just showed that they were getting kind of nervous and stressed. Like, nobody ever um, broke skin, that's a good thing. Nobody ever got that far. It was primarily Templeton just wanting to assert dominance and be on top of them, but it was never like a full-blown like attack. We were like 15 minutes in, and then um, this is where the unexpectedness began. Remy, my Dumbo, began to run around the bathtub like this. It was insane. He just began to run rapidly and nothing was happening. Nobody was fighting. Nobody was bugging each other. They were actually all separated, so they were all at, on different parts of the bathtub and Remy just started to run. And as he was running, he was going around the carrier I had in there. I had the bottom of the carrier in the bathtub uh, because they had been sitting in it, so I couldn't remove it yet. And he was running around that primarily and hitting Templeton as he was running. So I threw a towel over him because I was like, okay, I don't know what's going on. He must have just gotten spooked. So I threw the towel on him and it calmed him down. And then about five more minutes went by and again, it was, it seemed pretty unprovoked. I, now keep in mind, this was a very stressful situation, but then Remy not only began to run around the bathtub again, but began to leap into the air. So, I mean, he wasn't, he was not like climbing the bathtub. He was just jumping straight into the air. And I didn't feel comfortable grabbing him, I'll be honest. I didn't want to get bit by him. And also, I didn't want to stress him out even more by grabbing him aggressively, because I didn't have the carrier ready to go. Like, I had separated, separated it, so I had to put it back together. And so he ended up jumping out of the bathtub and running around my bathroom. And my bathroom's kind of big. I'll try to like, maybe include a clip, but so I know it's not that good of a video, so you can't really see what he's doing other than just running, but that's basically what he was doing. I wasn't really focused on filming. The only reason why I was filming was because I knew that this was an abnormal behavior, so I wanted to get it on tape in case I needed to show it to a veterinarian or to other rat owners to uh, get some more idea as to what was going on, basically. He just kept going around that, and he was just ignoring every possible hide. He was just running. And I had no idea what to do. He just kept running. And then finally he stopped and I was making sure uh, Emil and Templeton were okay. They were like in the corner cuddling, like, oh my God, did that really just happen? They were quite like on edge. They were like, where did Remy go? He just yeeted himself. And so I ended up putting them back in their separate um, levels. I put those two back so I wouldn't have had to worry about them. And then I had to get Remy and he was just, behind my dryer, wobbling his head like he does, which I know that that's normal now um, for rats with slightly red eyes or red eyes, but he was just doing that. And I was trying to get him out and I was trying to lure him out with food and stuff and he was just, just going like this. And so I ended up getting him out and I put him back and um, after considering what had just happened, I decided to ask a Facebook group and everybody was like, oh, maybe he just got spooked. But somebody then said, this is what seizure, is what a seizure looks like in a rat, and they sent me a video of a seizure. And I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty certain Remy had a seizure. Um, actually, he had two, because it just, it wasn't normal, you know? It wasn't like he was trying to escape, to hide. He was just running, and then afterwards he was just out of it. So I definitely think he had a seizure, and I definitely think he has something neurological going on. I decided not to take him to the vet because whenever he's not stressed, he's fine. Let me just clarify so nobody calls me an animal abuser. Uh, I plan on taking Remy to the vet once he is fully tamed. I do not want to take him to the vet before he is tamed and take him somewhere that will probably cause a seizure. That's the main thing is I do not want to take him somewhere that will cause one. He is eating and drinking normally. He is happy. He is playing. He is showing no signs of living in a difficult situation or is miserable or showing signs of lethargy, etc. So I decided to take a step back and not continue with the bonding. Um, I decided to let him chill because I didn't know how I'd go about it 
for his safety and for the other safety because I didn't want him to have another seizure. So yeah, I had to deal with that. There was about a three week gap between that session and the next one because I was so nervous to start again. Um, he did, Remy didn't have any more seizures. There's about three weeks go by and I decided to set up a bin cage this time to be the neutral territory. And I put down a blanket, AKA a towel, and I put the boys in and they actually didn't do too bad. There were squabbles, but honestly was not as bad as the first time. We were doing pretty okay. I would say I probably leave them in there for like 30 to 40 minutes. It was going well. Um, I can't, Remy didn't have a seizure that time. It was like a good, good moment. You know, I was really paying attention to them and how they were acting and how they were reacting. Um, again, the main thing was just Templeton starting a little bit of squabbles here and there, but he was honestly getting along with them pretty well. And life got in the way, and I had a week of just every day being at work till about eight to nine, and I had a huge test at school, and I just did not have time to continue the sessions. So about a week went by, and that next week I had a Sunday session um, with them in the bin cage for about 40 minutes that time, and they did really well. Only two squabbles that I can remember. It honestly was not bad. They separated themselves on their own. Other than that, they were doing great. So then, you know, I put them in their cage, and then um, the next day, I put them in the bin cage again, and I had to clean some cages, so I was paying attention to them. But I ended up leaving them in there for about six hours with food and water, which most people would say, do not do this, but the only reason why I did this was because they were doing so well. They were not fighting, they were cuddling, they were not having any issues, they were doing their own thing, they were not bothering each other. So, I decided to let them in there, and I'm, so I put them in there at like one, and at around eight, I decided to completely clean their cage and um, take out the middle level and rearrange and clean and sanitize because I decided at that point that if they were having some squabbles still, they would stay in the bin cage for a few days or if they did really well with no squabbles, they were going to go into the big cage and I would see how they did. And then if they didn't do well in the big cage, they were going to go back into the bin cage. So now keep in mind, again, this is not the typical way to do things. Um, and normally take, people normally do longer sessions, simply basing it off of how the rats were acting and how they were um, interacting with one another. And that is why I made the choice to do that, which some may argue that I should not have done that, but it worked, so I don't want to hear it. Thank you again. If it had been a different situation with rats who were, yes, fighting and yes, causing issues, then I would not have done that. So I want to make that clear. That is where I kind of went off the, the process. <laughs> That is where we made a, a, a left turn into the wrong domain, <laughs> but it worked. So yeah, <laughs> completely rearranged their cage. Um, you guys are seeing that hopefully now. And then I decided to put them in there and they actually did really well. There were only about two squeaks, but no fighting, no squeaks. Um, Remy did not have any seizures. He had one um, the night before in the bin cage during that session, but Honestly, no seizures. They were all getting along really well. Um, they weren't bothering each other, and I left them in there overnight. And I'm a light sleeper. Like if I if I hear the guinea pigs or somebody having problems, I wake up. I wake up if they started fighting. So you know, there's that. And the next morning, I checked on them, and they were all asleep in this basket. I think they were all asleep in the basket. It was either um, Templeton and Emil were sleeping together, or all three of them were sleeping together because um, I've noticed that. Emil and Templeton get along really well. It's actually really cute. They like being together and hanging out. <laughs> and then I came home from work and they were all in the same basket sleeping together. And since then, every day I come home, they're sleeping in the basket together, living their best life as a rat trio. So that's super exciting for me to finally know that Templeton has companionship. We haven't had any problems so far, knock on wood. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super happy about it. I'm actually like ecstatic to have like a group of rats together and not have to worry about bonding because it was very stressful for me. Um, just to talk about them and like their care so far. Uh, I definitely noticed that Remy does have neurological problems, um, which I know I discussed, but in general, Remy, anytime he looks at something, he wobbles. And it's not like a slight wobble, it's a very like, oh, I'm moving my head to see things wobble. And he definitely likes staying hidden. 
I don't know if that's due to the neurological problem or if it's his personality because he's very sweet once I have him, but in general, he likes to hide. He likes to be in like dark places, sleeping in the basket. He's not really exploring the cage. He'll explore the cage every now and again, like if his brother's out, Emil, then he will. But in general, he likes doing his little thing. Um, I probably should have named him Emil because, you know, in Ratatouille, Remy's like the explorative one who wants to like try all these new things. But anyways, so yeah, my boy Remy is a little shy, a little cutie patootie, my little neurologically damaged child. <laughs> and then um, Templeton, of course, loves to climb. He's all, He was the first one to be climbing up the cage. He's super happy with it, I think. Uh, he's always goofing around, doing his thing, living his best life. And then Emil, Emil's pretty similar to Templeton. I definitely think he's just more shy, but I think that's because I'm scaring him. You know, it's not really like, I don't know if he's shy or if it's just because he's scared of me right now. So I just have to work on taming, which we are still working on. I want to keep that very clear. Those are the boys. I'm really happy, guys. I'm just glad that it was a success. <laughs> so yeah, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, subscribe. If you didn't, then goodbye. Since filming this, the boys have been together for two full weeks, so 15 days if you need an exact number. They've been doing fantastic. I've been giving them more toys, more enrichment, working on hand taming. In general, we're doing great. In this clip, I was trying to feed Templeton, but he wouldn't take it, which is a little odd for him. But he's doing good otherwise. And here are the cute little boys sleeping in their green basket that I was telling you guys about.